got a great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors. Big shout out to Seacoast RV and Kendra who help us walk through this brand new 2022 Winnebago Solus Pocket Class B camper van under 18 feet. That's right. It is amazing. You're going to love this little Class B. It is a great product. We were really impressed with it and we think you're going to love it. So let's go ahead and get started and check out this brand new camper van from Winnebago. All right, here we are with Kendra and Aliche, and we're here to check out the Winnebago Solus. And this is one cool Class B RV, but this one is the Solus Pocket. So for those of you that haven't seen this one, this is the little guy. It's only like 17, 10 inches, something yes, like that. Yep. And as you guys know, in North America and the United States, an average parking spot is 19 feet. So you can have this as a grocery getter. You can do all kinds of fun stuff with this. No problem parking. And there is a variety of solaces though, right? So this is yes. the little guy, but how is how's it? Okay, and yeah. then how does it break down between the three that you have? Okay, so the Solus Pocket, it comes, it doesn't have hot water, it doesn't have a bathroom, um, it doesn't have the option to have the um, pop top on the top, it's on the Ram 1500 chassis. Okay. Um, and it's basically, it's the entry level one. Um, it has a lot of the amenities the other ones do, but it's smaller smaller <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's go check take a look at it this thing's uh, I'm excited to see this little guy and the cool thing is the price on this right so yes. everybody's talking about the affordability and inflation and how much these class B's are but this one tell everybody what the price is on this. a hundred and one thousand so there you go so let's go take a look Nice little home. <laughs> I already love the dinette idea. <laughs> so the dinette is, wow. is really cool because it can actually turn into five different positions. Oh, so this, it can be a dinette, it can be a day bed, it can be a uh, sofa, it can be a love seat. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. So yeah, that makes up. it, so the, and it, it, having it as a bed, it actually fits a six foot person. Mm. So, That's good. Yeah, and then it has the Murphy bed, Yeah. Um, which is, breaks down just comes down right across here leaving room for the storage as well wow so it's kind of like a little toy hauler like exactly. a lot of these four by fours uh, the storyteller overland and the jaco we just looked at i mean that's a nice feature in this little guy it gives you the op options to bring tools bring bikes bring anything like this and it has the l track system to secure your bikes down and this is another thing they've just added which is the molly door which it prevents anything in the event that you're you know breaking hard or something anything that's back here from coming forward i love that yeah me too um <laughs> it is basically just this bed comes down gives you a full bed yeah it's pretty big um you're like we told you it doesn't have a bathroom but it does have water options so if you're out to the beach and you're you get all sandy and you don't want to bring it inside there, you can hook up holes that they provide to you. Okay. Here. Very Spray good. Yourself off. All right. We'll check that out yeah. when we walk around. And you got the nice screen here. Yeah, so yes, when you're screen. sleeping, you can look right out the back with the both doors Absolutely, open, right? Absolutely, yeah. So it's in, you also have the option. So there's this. Yeah. We close and it's, it's easy zip. There you go. Easy zip down. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. All right, look at the yeah. storage on this. I know this unit has a huge storage up here, and that is what you need everywhere. The benefit too, if you notice. Oh, I, oh no, no, you're fine. So in the older ones, you'd open them up, they, and it would have the gas shocks, and you'd hit your head. Yeah. This goes all the way to the top. Wow! wow. Look at that. Thank you, Peter. That is huge. Yeah. And you have a storage everywhere, really. Like you have storage here, you have storage in the back here. And if you look at the table area, I mean, there is really storage in every corner. They did a lot of, you know, this is a great design for this size. Absolutely. Yep. Let's take a look at over here. What do we got over here, though? Okay. We've got some outlets. So, yeah, we got some outlets. So this is your sight glass. So this shows you um, your water. Oh, wow. How much water you have in it, and that's the light that goes behind it. This area right here is if you want it, you don't have to use this, but this is a gravity fed water. Okay. Um, so you could fill your tank from here, but we suggest doing it from the back. Yeah. And you have the options of 
Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, USBs, USB well. yeah. 110. Well, and they, this does have an inverter, correct? Yes, it does. And what they wanted was for you to be able to use this as a workspace. Nice. You so you can take this pad yeah. right yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. Look it's at that. Nice. Yeah. I love this. Wow, that is great. And once again, like uh, all these little details make the difference. It does. It, it does. just every single year these Class Bs. Like if you bought one four years ago, it's it's really kind of so outdated, you know, because today they've got all the power options. Yeah. So I'm assuming this has solar it also. Does. It has a 170 watt solar panel on the top. Uh, it can be upgraded to up to 400 with an aftermarket. Nice. Uh, but it does come standard with a 170 watt. The uh, pocket, the Solus 59P and the 59PX. Uh, with, if you have the pop top, you get a 220 volt solar panel. Um, if you if you decide not to take the top, you get another 170 volt. Just wow, like that's one. nice. Now, does this one? So this has the uh, solar. It's got the inverter. And then what about uh, the actual propane for heat? Yeah, let me or... show you. It's down this way. Okay, it's so you got that out there. Yeah, I do. To do was make it easy um, instead of having to. So it's a removable. Oh wow! Tank, it's right there. Look at that. So it's just uh, just like your grill at home. You move, you yeah. run out, you just switch it out and. Yeah. Wow, I kind of like that, don't you, Alicia? I, I do. That makes it easier. I mean, so many times we're on the road, we're like, oh, we got to fill up propane, but that's like the grill program. That's easy. Yeah, you to... don't have to go to any campground. <laughs> you can actually go everywhere. And yeah. if you decide to go, if you wanted to go someplace, the other thing about the propane is, yeah. which you really can't get over here, but there is a door right here if you want to look. Yeah. You could reach in to turn the propane on or off if you were like on a ferry or something like that, where okay. they make you turn the propane off. Wow, very cool. Mm -hmm. And then you have all of your activity here. Nice. All right, Alice, look at this. Great, Peter. We always fight on our, like, look at this. As easy as that, you don't have to wow. sell it anywhere. You just we need to sell those on the aftermarket. That is a great design because you got the magnet ones and all the other ones, and they're kind of a pain in the neck. These are really nice. And they're also thermal. Yep. And they're thermal so, also. Because this is made for all season camping. I okay. Like that. Yep. So yep. everything water is above ground. Yeah, let's take a look at that. So you got a bunch of connections yep. here. So basically, this is just. This is, oh, I'm sorry, this is yeah. where you fill your fresh water. Um, this is it basically just to be able to fill the tank. Different options as, to, as far as, you know, if you were gonna winterize you? it or yep, put yep. water in or whatever. Your um, 20 gallon water tank is right behind this along with your gray water tank. Okay, and right. how big is the gray water tank? 20 gallons. So they're both 20 gallons. Yes. All right, very nice. This, I don't know if you guys have seen that has this, this. So wow, that. what do you got going there? There's a. Yeah. And this. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is super cool. So for everyone out there saying Class Bs are too expensive, here's a $100,000 rig, tons of storage, put your e-bikes in it, smaller than a standard parking spot, and it's got a little bit of everything. And you have an outdoor shower. And you have an outdoor shower. <laughs> All right, look at that. here wow the benefit of that too is if you have a laptop you can pop your laptop in here there's a you can pop this oh. off and you can plug it in it can it's stored in there but it's still charging and you have the other one that yes does yes ma'am yes ma'am wow. look at that and it's not like a and you got your outlets in there there's some more and the other one the storage there 
Wow. And finally, but not less important, I, I notice everything. Right? Toilet under there. Yeah. And you got yeah, a little toilet. So toilet. even though you don't have the bathroom, you do have the porta potty. Well, that's all, all you need. <laughs> that's right. Very cool. And nice big storage up here on this side, too. Yeah. yeah. And the V spot that is completely open. Wow. And then the control system wise, what do you got up here? Let's take so a look at you this. You have your, um, your controller for your solar panel. And basically right now it's what it's telling you because we're obviously inside and right. it's not getting any solar. It's, it's telling you that. This has all the panels to tell you like what your tanks, your um, gray tank is at, where your battery level's at. Okay. And this over here is for the Truma heat system, the Vario Truma heat system. Yeah. Um, and basically that just, that's, operates that. So. Yeah. No, very good. This is also another, this comes down and it has a magnet. So Okay, so it stays down. So it stays down, but you also can go in and out without having to zip. And, oh, wow. You got a nice fridge off the end here. Yeah, it's a 12 yeah. volt. Okay. And then more outlets again. So that's pretty sweet. A lot pretty of cool. Outlets. Nova yeah. cool. And then over here, what do we got? We got uh, Two double burners. burners. Two nice burners. Okay. Nice sink. So everything's hooked up. And, and then the drawers here, right? So yeah. nice. And the table outside, but yes. it's my favorite feature once again. <laughs> Everybody knows how I much I love that. <laughs> yeah, that's a great table. So you can uh, tell everybody how you use your portable, even though we have the oh, built-in, yeah. right? Yeah, I have. A, we have a burner built-in, but we also have a portable, so you can cook inside or outside uh, with no problem. Yeah. yeah. The 59P and the 59PX come with portable okay. So. okay so that's awesome so a question for you the other two version yeah um do they have the same layout or? they have the same layout with the 59p you can have the option of the murphy bed or sofa in the back and it doesn't have the storage like this down below okay, okay. yeah um, but the uh, 59px is the same and then as i told you it has a pop top that will allow two people to sleep up above so okay. you have like a more people yes but they yeah. can have to yeah sleep and there's an the optional place. luno bed Okay. It can be blown up in the front and it can sleep somebody to the front too. Wow, wow that is the first one that I ever heard like that. <laughs> is awesome. that a Winnebago exclusive or did you guys... It's, have... no, no, it's Winnebago. Is it really? Area. Wow, that's yeah. super cool. And then you got a nice AC here. Yes. That looks great. 13.5 thousand BTU. Okay. Very good. Well, this is a really nice unit. I love the toy hauler aspect of it on this size of a unit at this price point. Yeah. You know, especially with how popular these e-bikes are now, you know, to have room. That's one of our problems, right? With our Class B currently, you've got to figure out a way to get them mounted outside, and it's not easy. So this definitely leaves you a lot of nice options, kayaks, you know, all kinds of gear, uh, storage. Day, like you have a sh you, yeah, you don't have an inside shower, but you have still the ability to actually take a shower very quickly outside. And even if you don't have a, a real toilet, you still have a portable one. So what else are you missing? Really right. Nothing. And like so many times, let's be honest. I mean, when you're in these class B's, you hit a lot of hotels, you hit a lot of campgrounds, both have showers. So, you know, we don't use the shower as much as you do the toilet. Right. Yeah. And so uh, here you actually gain a lot of more storage and space without really missing yeah. anything. Very nice. Absolutely. And this is the chassis up here. So we've got the Ram chassis the and Ram chassis, uh, yeah. 3.0. Um, six liter um, gas. Yeah. So no diesel. You don't have no. to worry about that. Real nice look. The front seat also swivel around to face the back. Mm -hmm. So that gives you the extra seating. More like a... And a nice extra thing for your yeah. kids. Okay. And you got the extra table too. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is super, super awesome. Right, I'm pretty impressed. I'm surprised actually. I mean, this is a really nice unit and thank you so much for the walkthrough tour of this. No and uh, this is a really nice product for the size and the price and yeah. all the features and benefits of it. You guys got to be pretty proud of this unit. We are very, very proud of it. User friendly and it, it's great.
So tell everybody back home if you want to buy one of these little pockets, where they go to get it, and uh, your website. The and only place to go to Seacoast RV. That's okay. Domain. All right. Uh, our website is seacoastrv.com. All right. Very good. There you have it. And then what about stock right now? How long does it take to get one of these? Do you have any in this stock? This is actually our one that's in stock. Okay. Um, and we do have a, a bunch of them coming in within the next couple of so all right. Yeah, yeah. All right. You heard it. You heard it. So we're February 2022. If you want one, you can get one right here, right now, and they'll have more coming. So yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> So as you can see, this Solus Pocket is really a super cool little camper van. We were very impressed with it. And uh, overall, uh, they make a great product there with Winnebago. You can check out uh, more information on this particular uh, camper van on their website. It does come with one floor plan currently, the 36A versus the Solus comes with multiple floor plans. But overall, a really cool layout. Uh, we were impressed a lot. A lot of storage and a great adventure outdoor gear you can dine in dine out on this model you had the really cool removable uh, LP setup which uh, we thought was pretty ingenious actually under 18 feet like we talked about so you're gonna be able to move around a lot easier in cities parking lots things of that nature so if your worry is always driving one of these uh, conversion vans this is a really nice size 280 horsepower 3.6 uh, 6 liter V6 on the Ram Promaster and uh, lots of great bells and whistles features and benefits with this unit including the LED ceiling lighting and uh, all of the different setups that you had there with the hitch and also that little storage compartment in the back was like a toy hauler it was fantastic uh, we hope you enjoyed the video definitely check out our channel we do all kinds of class B reviews uh, like we've done here you can see above a lot of great uh, you know, if you're in the 4x4s, we have the Storyteller. We have the Jayco Terrain 4x4. If you're looking for all kinds of different camper vans, we show you great selections. We even give you tips and mods and hacks and all kinds of things from big rallies from owners themselves. Check out our first 11 days, 11 lessons for anyone buying a Class B. That's a much watch, uh, must watch. And we also talk about the accessories that you need and uh, checklists. We even talk about uh, adding a stowaway for extra storage. We interview a lot lot of people in the industry that you'll really like we do campground reviews on like a lot of channels um, and then in addition to that uh, not only do we do the campground reviews but then we go to all kinds of cool places like Savannah and uh, snorkeling and fishing and Jekyll Island and uh, there's all kinds of destinations to take your class B and one of our favorites falling water so overall we hope you enjoy the video please give us a like check out uh, the channel and give us uh, subscribe to see more great videos we really appreciate your support and thank you so much for watching how to have fun outdoors <laughs>